Ah. Oh. Ow. There we go. And where do you mother? Welcome to Coyote Wild Let's Play. I'm Taylor, and we're going to do a Let's Play of One Finger Death Punch. So, getting to the game has two modes, Levels and Survival. We're going to do Levels. And one thing I want to point out while before we get too far into this game is, one, it only has two buttons for controls. So, for, for PC users, you'll be using the left mouse button and the rice map... Rice. The, the right mouse button... I can say that correctly and I think it's also on Xbox Live Arcade and I think lo love that word I think you will be using the left the left trigger and the right trigger so let's get into it uh, let's pick a level with a lot of enemies because it's gonna get to show you guys how much stupid fun this game is all right let's do this one I've done it before but hey just go along with it all right, so so as you do better in this game, your speed goes up with that little speed indicator up there. And also, the different guys are color coded differently. So, for example, this guy he had a little meeting game when you find him, and most of them are just kind of combos, or you can just hit them once. And another thing I want to warn you guys: button mashing will not work in this game. This is much more of a rhythm game where instead of playing a plastic guitar, you're punching dudes in the face, which, honestly, is way more fun than playing a plastic guitar. So, just my personal opinion. Oh, ow. There we go, and there you go. Where do you mama? And just a few more. There we go. Sorry I'm not doing a lot of commentary on the game right now. It does quite just... Ow. Man, I messed that up. There we go. So, again, these guys are color-coded. And at, sometimes at random moments, they'll actually throw things at you, like weapons, and you have to block them and throw them back, or play cool mini-games. And we do that. And these blue dudes, they'll actually jump on you, so they'll go from your blue side to your red side, or your red side to your blue side. And these different little elements, and I guess the music, too, just makes it really fun really really epic to play there we go oh ah oh. ow there we go and where do you mother uh, bronze is not bad I could have done a little bit better but eh so as you saw there, that's that's kind of one finger death punch. We're gonna play a few more levels to get you to give you an idea of how just stupid fun this is. Another thing I really really like about this game is the different game modes it has. You're not getting just you know waves. You can get uh, let me find it. It's probably one of my favorites out there. You have this cool little that's a dagger round, which is just it was just yeah where is it? There we go. You have a lightsaber round or a light sword round because they probably don't want to get sued. And here is similar concept, but now most of these guys are kind of one hit, and it's just a really fun way to rack up some points. Another thing I want to point out is your speed meter, which is in the top left of the screen. And the better you do, the more games you win, the faster it gets. So if you're kind of on a roll, you'll kind of see. I think the highest I've been able to go to is 155. I think if it goes that high, it's, well it does, but I'm not sure it lands on exactly 155. But about 150% of the game, 150% speed. And this is 122 speed, so it's a little fast and kind of hard to play while talking, but we're going to find a way to do it. There we go. I only got hit once, so I know I'm not getting that perfect. And... It has a little bit longer of these little, little combo mini-games, which... I mean, I'm not complaining. It looks freaking epic. Ow. Got hit. And win. So, still got a... Still not... Did not platinum. I guess it's probably just me talking. And it also has probably one of my favorite modes. It's, it's kind of a random favorite, really. It's called Retro Film Mode. Which, 
old school Bruce Lee movie time, so. So, for those that didn't hear that, uh, the enemies are no longer really color coded. I mean, there's some slight different shades, but nothing to really indicate what they are by color, so instead you're going to have to rely on the little bars below them. Ooh, and sometimes it does these cool little finishers that are just freaking amazing. Oh, messed that up. I got hit in the back of the head. There we go. Just, oh, this game is just so epic. No matter how bad you're kind of doing, you still feel like a kung fu master and you can go out and kick someone's butt, which I really don't recommend because unless real life has gone to the gameplay of this particular game, I doubt the fight will just consist of two buttons. There's four of them, and I don't seem to get them in tangent. There we go. And, ah, too slow. That wasn't too slow. Your mom's too slow. So if you have some weird Bruce Lee fantasy, which pretty much I think everyone does, this game is pretty much for you. All right, so the one, let me see, that's the dagger round. Not a big fan of dagger rounds. I mean, defender, defender's fun. Uh, this is where they only give you one health, which means you have to go perfect. You cannot lose, and I am probably going to miss this up. And you have to block these little daggers. And I'm probably going to have to stop talking for just a little bit to focus, because I'm going to botch this if I, oh, there we go. Redo. And if you lose, the game will lower down the speed a bit just so it can be a little bit easier because that was pretty ridiculous. Ah, uh, so, oh, man, I keep dying on four. Try it again. One more time. One more time. Okay, there we go. Going Jedi on these is a lot harder than it looks, especially talking to YouTube audience. Sorry, I'm doing broken English, but now oh, there we go. Only had to knock me down to 106. See, no misses, because you're not allowed to miss. So I know I said one last game mode, but we're gonna do just one more game mode, and it's probably my, it's probably a bigger favorite than the, than the retro, retro mode. Let me see if I can find it. I'm looking for a pair of nunchucks. You can see them. I really don't want to do the first one I did. Oh, there we go. We're going to do the nunchuck round, which is probably my favorite. So this game is just amazing. It's very simple. Very addicting. I've probably killed at least five hours just playing this game. And this would probably be a really good mobile port, too, just for how addicting and easy. I mean, not easy. Uh, simple to use. It's simple to learn, hard to master. And the best thing this game does is, is lets you get into these cool rhythms where you just feel amazing. That's essentially what this is. This is a very good pick me up. If you're having a bad day and you need to feel like a Kung Fu Master, first of all, why is Kung Fu Master feeling your pick, pick up choice? But whatever. But again, just a fun, fun game. The first time I ever got that perfect. I've always botched those long ones. So yeah, this has been One Finger Death Punch. It's by Silver Dollar Games. I recommend you get it. It's only $5 on the Steam Marketplace, and it's only, I think, $3 on Xbox Live. So this has been Coyote Wild. Thank you for watching.